Well, I'm going to do the top common problems that I come across while doing laptop repairs. So first, you got the charger plugged in. I'm just going to test the charger, make sure it's making a good voltage. This this is uh, about 18 or 20 volts or something like. That. So get your cable and touch it. There you go. That's 20 volts. And it's negative 20 because I've got these the wrong way around. That means the positive is in the centre, which can be good information. So the positive is in the centre, 20 volts. So the charge is working fine. I know that's not the problem. Why well, it's not turning off? On. So you get your battery. This is a, looks like an aftermarket one. But you've got a negative and the positive. You don't want to push them in too hard, otherwise you'll uh, damage the pins. Hopefully you can see that. So negative positive, 12 volts. As you can see, that's a 12 volt battery. So the battery, and that's fine. The next thing I'll do is clean up all these connections, and on here, I'll use a deox deoxidizer on both of them, and on any connections you see around here. It's very rare that is the cause, but I have known it in the past, and while you read, I will do it, and then unclip it a few times. And then, when the battery's off, press your button, press and hold your button, or press it down a few times. That'll clear any residual electricity on the motherboard and in the memory, and sometimes that can work. So after you've tried that, put the battery back on. Connect your power supply if you need to and then try it, but if that don't work it could be your memory. Well it could be anything, if you've got other stuff plugged in make sure you ain't no USBs or anything like that. You can even replace, remove your CD drive and your hard disk drive and then uh, try it again because sometimes they can short out and stop them from booting. And then lastly, it could be a memory which is underneath here. I'll just get a screwdriver. So on this one, the memory is on this side. There's also one under the keyboard on this model as well. So you have to know which particular, your particular model. And also you might have a Bluetooth card or a Wi-Fi card. Make sure they're wired up properly. Or make sure they ain't touching. And make sure the memory is seated correctly. You can even take it out, deoxidize the connections and push them back in and make sure they're seated correctly. If they ain't seated correctly, the machine won't turn on. So but That's about it. If you've done all that, it could be a short on your, your screen or your motherboard and then you're getting into more serious repairs then. So. Right, that's it.